Welcome back to another video. As you can tell, this is a game day vlog. So right now, it's the night before the game. Uh, it's around 11.20 right now, 11.25. I'm pretty much gonna be showing you guys what I do on the day of a game. Uh, maybe some highlights from the game as well. Take you guys with me tomorrow. Take you guys with me in the game here. I've done this before in Brazil, and I'm really excited to take you guys along with me today for a home game in the for our third game of the season and it's our second game at home tomorrow so I'm really looking forward to taking you guys with me. I'm gonna go get a good night of rest and sleep so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, it is currently around 1 o'clock, we're supposed to meet at the change room for 1.45 and yeah, so I have around like 30-40 minutes to spare, I think I'm just going to chill, read a book, I'm reading a book called Ego is Enemy by Ryan Holiday, it's, a, it's really good so far, I really have to focus on reading it because it's a good amount of information, yeah it's a very beautiful day outside, probably the most beautiful day. I've had here in Poland since I've been here. It's like 20 degrees, sun's out. Like I don't think I have to wear any Under Armour under my jersey to play. But, but yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, I'm gonna do my thing and I'll see you guys in a bit. back in the house um i'm a little upset we lost three nothing and our team was playing well for the first bit it was just in the last 10 minutes where we kind of just slipped and we let in three goals so that obviously isn't the best way to end the game and it wasn't the way i was expecting it to go because our team was actually playing pretty well until 
these last moments where it just we lost a moment of focus and it just ended up in a goal. Super tired. I'm just here in bed. I don't know. It's around like 6 p.m. So I may sleep or just just rest. But yeah, it's a little sad. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, you guys will see a little parts of the game soon. But I'll see you guys later. So, to start off, we head up into the pitch. We have a good group of fans, you know, like, they're very supportive, so we're very thankful for that. Our team is very thankful for that. So my first touch of the game is this throw-in. I play it in, and then I just clear it out. You know, I didn't really think that there was a lot of options in that moment. Um, this next part, I receive the ball out a little bit wide, and I take a touch forward. It's a little bouncy, not the best touch, but I play it out to my winger. He cuts inside, and he does a good job finding our striker. And then we try and find a switch, but it didn't work out, unfortunately. But it was a good try. And in this one, we went, our center back was 1v1 with the winger. I tracked back, and it was blocked by Danielle, which was very good. I saw that I had time, so... I took some touches forward and then I played it out wide to my winger. And then he plays it back to me. Um, you know, I didn't I felt like I could have played Z B here in the middle, but I decided to play it back. And I was trying to recycle it. Um, but we ended up playing it forward anyways. So here I receive the ball out wide, I check my shoulder, I see that I have time to take a touch. So as I take my touch the defender comes in, but I see my winger coming. It's a little bad ball, but my winger does a good job to deal with it. And now we're in the attack, but we end up losing it off the corner. Here, I receive the ball off wide, and in this moment, I need to be taking it 1v1. You know, as a player, like, there shouldn't be any room for hesitation. I feel like if you hesitate, um, you're going to make the wrong decision. So s stick with one decision. This is what I picked up from this. So next time, I'll for sure make sure to <laughs> take him on fully and drive down the line. But I ended up taking him on. Turning, trying to look for another option, couldn't see. I tried getting it off of him and I trapped myself. So play, they did a throw in, and the guy took a bad touch and I was able to win it back. So I won it back, ZB takes the ball, and um, we actually almost score off this play. Very good shot with his one foot there, Lucas. So the next play here, uh, I received the ball back, and this was very bad technique. I should have just, I was aiming down the line for Lucas here but it didn't reach him, it went out before. So that's just an execution part for me. So here, uh, when he gets the ball, I don't want to step too close in case he tries to go down the line, but he takes a touch in. And I felt like my body positioning here could have forced him out more wide. Um, but he goes inside, I'm able to track him down with some help from my midfielder. Out, but it was too short. The guy wins it again, but I'm able to read his pass. And then we have a sense of calm down to my winger and then he goes forward and it was a good opportunity here but not the best ball but it's okay here is a good chance from our team you know Yuri does a good job winning the ball here and he plays it up the line to Basil Basil does a good job beating his man now it's like a 4v3 um, so now Lucas has the ball takes his man 1v1 drives down the line very good play here and then goes to David, but he just hits the side at it. So it's a little unlucky, but it's okay. 35th minute now, Pablo clears it up. Um, we head it. Yeah, ZB passing me the ball here. And this was a mistake from my end again. I could have played Lucas right here in the middle. Uh, he had a lot of time, but my head was down. I did the wrong thing. I tried to turn and find ZB again. Try and find a give and go with him. But... I scuff the ball goes out of bounds very not a very good decision on my part so here we get across but then their defender clears it out i'm able to bring it down and then play in our other midfielder here yashin and he does a good job trapping it and we have possession and then, yeah in this play um it was a it was a good play from us good movement from yashin the ball out wide to zb zb whips the ball in and the basil does a great job getting ahead on it but it just goes wide unfortunately In this last part here, uh, we play the ball out, or they play the ball out, I win the head, and then goes again, he tries to flick it, tries to flick it, and I play in David, but it didn't go towards the plan. 
second half, uh, they crossed it in here, and I was able to get a deflection, luckily. And then I look up the wing, and I just play it into David, but unfortunately we lose the ball here. And then this is a throw in, I just receive it and I play it into Zivi. And after this, I got a cut on my hand because I got stepped on a bit. But this is leads up to the second goal that they scored. So they do a good job here. They play it to this player in the middle. He's a very good player, very good pass. And they finish this here, 1 0. So it was pretty unfortunate, but it was a good play. And then here they played it out wide, put in a tackle, and then I just play it into the middle, and then we go to the other side. Here Lucas wins the ball in the air. I get to it first, and I was thinking about where to pass it here. I didn't see anything on the wing, but I should have played ZB in the middle here. I made a really big mistake. You know, you don't have to keep the ball to do something good. Um, I played it back all the way, and we we're down one nothing. So I just felt like I killed a little bit of time. I should have tried to go forward because if you can always go forward, it's always like the best option rather than going back. So we win the ball. I'm um, gonna play it through to David. David does a good job holding onto the ball. He cuts in. He plays it through to Marcel, but unfortunately Marcel loses his footing. And we lose possession on the ball. And here they try to play it out wide, but it was a pretty bad ball, so I was able to take it into my feet. I look forward and I felt like the only, I can't see the full camera view, but maybe I could have played it forward on the left side. But playing it to the V on the right wasn't a bad option, but I feel like in the moment there was definitely a better option on the other side. ZV does a good job to play me through. Um, and I have the ball here and I honestly think I should have just cut in because the defender was off footing. Um, but then again, I hesitated, it took too long to think. I try to take him on and drive down the line. And he blocks the goal off for a corner. Yeah, my team was set off a good play here. And he plays me. And here, I felt I took way too long to decide. Like I should have played ZB right away, you know, so we could attack more faster. But I took too long. Play the ball in, um, gave some time for the opposition to get back, but it is what it is. Here's the second goal they scored. It's really unlucky. It was actually a deflection off our own guy, so it's an own goal. That made it 2 nothing, which was very unfortunate. But here's another chance we could have had. Good crossing from Ivan, but unlucky miss from Balkan. And ZB does a good job here breaking out from two, two defenders. And has the ball here, plays it into the middle to Yashin. And Yashin plays me out wide, and here is where it has to be better because at a higher level, if I take four touches, I'm I'm going to be pressed. So after I take this first touch, the ball bounces up. Yeah, it's a bad touch, but I was able to recover. And I was able to whip in a, a decent ball, but no one was able to get to it. So the thing is, in the difference between this level and a professional level, like a player would not have taken four touches, it would have been done in two. So that could have been a lot faster on my part as well. Just little things like that. Here's a sec here's the third goal that they scored. Then again another simple mistake, but you know, he loses a team and wins a team. He played into Machi, um Mati receives it but he gets dispossessed. And then it leads to a two V one against our goalie, so. Uh, nothing too much we could have done there. It was just unlucky. Uh, but we learned from it. <clears throat> and then, this was probably my last touch of the game. I received the ball from Philippe. I go down the line, and as I'm about to cross it, I know that he's about to deflect it if I cross it on my right foot. So I have to try and cut back on my left. I played across. It was an okay ball, but he wasn't able to get ahead on it, unfortunately. And yeah, so. That would be our 3 nothing loss.
anyways, so that's pretty much the end of the vlog. Uh, I'm gonna cut it off here. I hope you guys enjoyed it, you know, the analysis and, you know, I couldn't include every single touch I had in the game, but, you know, I felt like I included the ones that, for me, were, like, important to take note upon. But, yeah, so, this was, like, a different video. I've never done a match analysis before. But I'm really glad I did, and I hope you guys took something from it for yourself or maybe even start to look at your own games and study your own film because for those of you in season it's really important to be analyzing yourself and focusing on the little details because those little differences <clears throat> go such a long way and I'm not afraid to put myself out there and criticize myself and show you guys the mistakes I made because I'm not here to show you guys something fake I'm here to show you something that's real I'm confident with every step, I'll get better. And thank you guys for tuning in, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later, uh, take care, and uh, peace.